We're demonstrating against this Silvertown Tunnel project, which will feed into air pollution here locally and feed into climate change globally. New roads bring new traffic. 20 to 30,000 vehicles a day, including juggernauts, coming into Newham. There's no PM 2.5 modelling. It's toxic for the children here. Newham is the most polluted borough in the UK, and it really affects our children. Their lung development, their breathing. I have a child in my class who has to be taken home every day at lunch and have his dinner at home because the doctors have advised that he shouldn't be outside in the playground. Newham is for highest in London for children having asthma attacks is now very well evidenced that it is linked with exposure to air pollution and this means that here at least one in ten children are using something like this twice a day just so that they can breathe properly. This one belongs to my son, who's five years old, who I have seen fight for his life in a high dependency unit in hospital multiple times. I was born in Blasto. We had a lot of traffic. I had a mild case of TB when I was younger. I didn't know. Masses of people here will have undiagnosed respiratory illnesses. The Silvertown Tunnel will permanently build in infrastructure that will damage the health of thousands of children. We do not want to spend our money killing our own people. I'm a train driver and I drive my train and when I go home my nose is black. Why is that? Because we haven't invested money in our infrastructure for London Underground and all the buses and all the transport in London. TfL is saying that they need to save 500 million. They're going to cut 650 jobs, which only amount to 25 million. Now, where is the rest of the 400 and add million going to come from? Instead of building the Silvertown Tunnel, take the money and reinvest in our London Underground. We want public transport to be affordable and reliable for everyone, and that's what we need. We don't need a tunnel which is going to bring more cars and heavy goods vehicles in particular. In the UK, the largest contributor to greenhouse gases is the transport sector. Land transport is doing about 27% of the UK greenhouse gas emissions. The Silvertown Tunnel is going to increase road transport. All studies show that if you make it easier to drive, people will drive. Just over one degree warming, we've seen killer floods, fires and famines, and droughts wreck every single corner of the world. We have less than a decade before we breach the critical 1.5 degree guardrail. We've had our Prime Minister talk about, we're at one minute to midnight when he talks about the climate crisis. We've had our Mayor say we're in the midst of a climate emergency, and yet they're giving a green light for more oil and gas, for more road building, for more Silvertown tunnels, for more incinerators in Edmonton for more expansion of aviation. They're listening to the powerful economic interests who benefit the most from continuing our addiction to fossil fuels. There are so many people here from Labour who are against this tunnel. The London Labour Party conference last year voted overwhelmingly against it. The MPs for Greenwich and Woolwich, Erith and Thamesmead, and for this area as well, all are against this tunnel. What will change this direction is building our power, people power. Many big building projects have been cancelled part way through. Until the first car passes through and pops out at the other end, we keep fighting.